September. It is a Wednesday and a month from, the, from today, and then some. It's the Bayshore Wine and Beer Festival, Tommy. So mark that on your calendar. I've already got it marked out. Okay. Yeah. Bayshore yep. Wine and Beer. We may be doing a remote that day, okay. though. Uh, it's from uh, 2 to 6 down at uh, Bayshore uh, Live Oak Park, right there in uh, Port Charlotte on Edgewater. And I uh, invite you to head on down there because it'll be a great event. Uh, there'll be all sorts of uh, beer and wine to taste. And uh, you wear that bracelet of pretzels around your neck. That's what you got to do. you got to find them. <laughs> you got to make yourself one. Oh, you have to go really? Yeah. you got to be able to afford to buy the pretzels first. Well, yeah, but that's, you don't want to pay what they're charging. Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah, exactly. No. <laughs> Good morning. This morning is the... Uh, Second Wednesday, we usually have Dr. Joe on the first Wednesday, but of course I was away in Texas uh, contracting West Nile. No, <laughs> looking for West Nile. <laughs> Dr. Joe Spadafora joins us this morning from the Community Eye Center. Joe, welcome uh, to the show. It's good to be back. It's good to see you. It's good to be seen, isn't it? Nice? Well, I, I, Tommy, notice the tie yeah. with, with the sun with sunglasses on. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, well, that was like yesterday. The weather we had yesterday was like that. Exactly. Cloud covered yesterday. Oh, did you get did you get heavy rain yesterday afternoon? Um, I wasn't home most of the afternoon, so I do not know. Okay. But my swales were filled with water, so yeah. Obviously, we had. Uh, it probably was water. about the cute story. We were sit, went over the navigator because I didn't have. I was waiting for Grand Air to show up to do my air conditioning because mm -hmm. I still didn't have air. So I went over and was on the front porch with the guys and. Uh, uh, and then they came and they fixed it, so I was just waiting for the house to cool down a little bit. And we were watching the storm coming in. We went out back to to watch it. And somebody asked us what we were doing. I said, we're just checking out the storm because don't like the way it, the way it looks. And the lady's sitting there. She says, well, it's uh, going the other way. I says, okay. I don't think so, but okay. So I didn't argue with her, just, you know. And uh, we went out down to the docks to look down the canal and we could see it coming I mean it was coming right up the canal yeah. so we walked around to the front of the place sat there we were well protected they moved inside don't you have an iPhone or a phone that will, no. will accept apps no Tom. okay okay I have this I have this old Phone. Oh, yeah, where's the, the paper cup with the string? <laughs> oh, yeah, spray yeah. Right that's right. just the phone, the battery's in his pocket. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's it. I mean, I don't, I don't think this takes apps, but... Okay. okay, can you connect to the Internet? Yeah. Okay, well, then you probably would have an app for the weather bug, and the weather bug is really beautiful, and it's fast, and it works well, and uh, you can... you can. Um, I'll let you do that after I okay. connect the Okay, yeah, good idea. Time. Yeah, I'm getting a weather app today. Joe. It's amazing. Well, you have an iPhone, don't you, Dr. Joe? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Uh, the, the weather bug's really nice. Do you have there's too much accessibility to everything on that. Uh, oh, that's the problem. Grief. Yeah. yeah. I spend yeah. too much time looking at your phone instead yes. of doing other things. Yeah. <laughs> Albert Einstein basically said people who are too connected to books and plays get distracted from thinking. So nowadays people don't get the chance of thinking anymore. So we're always... Free thinking. Free yes. thinking. Yeah. It's, it's basically we're reading or living someone else's lives yeah, virtual right. everything, but not actually yeah. living the life. Well, the comedian that was there over the weekend of Assange, uh, Pat Godwin, has 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 a line that he uses when somebody turns on their cell phone or he sees them picking up. He says, "Excuse me, son." He says, uh, <laughs> "That iPhone you got there just lit up your crotch." And uh, could you do me a favor and Google manners? <laughs> 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 so, uh, Dr. Joe Spatterforce is with us today, and you just mentioned before we went on the air, I kind of didn't want to talk about it, but I guess I have to, mm -hmm. is that type 2 diabetes has a link to Alzheimer's, is that correct? They're finding an increased association now with uh, diabetes and Alzheimer's, and the British studies in the United Kingdom are showing that uh, they're actually uh, doing studies on that. They think the glucagon one, sorry, there's a protein available uh, in certain blood testing which does appear to be associated with it. And they that, by the way, thank you for that. Trying to change it from to English, yes. Yes. Translation to English. Yes. Uh, I'm trying to speak slower. No coffee today. Um, so they're they're associating this now, and they're feeling that this one medication, which in the research protocol is being employed, uh, may slow down the rate of Alzheimer's development as well as control the diabetes. Now you told us this a couple of weeks ago that they were able to see the formation of Alzheimer's in the eyes. Neurofibril layer changes taking place inside the eyeballs. Yes. Okay. Neurofibril layer is taking changing inside the eye. Okay. But can you see that in a diabetic as well? 
Is, is that how it's associated or not? Well, the, remember I always mentioned about the vascular changes we see right. inside the eye? Well, they're, say, they're saying that if you have two associated changes, narrowing of the arterioles, okay. widening, widening of the uh, veins, and AV nicking, which is classic for arteriosclerosis, any two of those is a higher risk of Alzheimer's, but then also small vessel disease changes taking place having secondary side effects. It's not necessarily what happens to you in the conditions, it's how your body responds to it. Sometimes it over-responds, over-produces various chemicals, which are pathological. So, in the treatment of the diabetes issues, this may slow down the rate of both developments. Mm -hmm. So try to be healthy, try to keep your weight down, try to keep the cholesterol, triglycerides down, and exercising, just walking a mile, not running a mile, walking a mile every other day. Go to the mall, it's great. It's air conditioned, it's safe, there's a defibrillator close by. In case you get in trouble. Did you ever see the mall walkers up there? They'll run, oh, yeah. they run you over. At certain <laughs> times, Tommy. At certain times, you, okay. if you're there too early, they will run you over. But as they go out through the day, they become very kind. Passive, if you yeah. will. But they're, <coughs> they're trying to be healthy is the key issue nowadays. I mean, the mall would like to have people there. They can buy things. That's yeah. true. But don't stop off at the candy store. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, say, I redid my route so I wouldn't go buy it. Very smart, man. Yeah. I just circled it myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, going around and around and around. Dr. Joe Spadafore is here with us. If you have a question about your eye care, about something going on with your eyes that you're not quite sure, uh, give Joe a call, 206-1580 or toll free, 888-441-1580. Uh, Joe, we've often talked about the clear procedure. And how often does someone need to go back in and have their eyes checked for the clear procedure after they've had the original... After the surgery, it's really uh, important to be monitored. Uh, about every year would be the appropriate situation if a person is, pa is uh, less than the age of 60. About 60 about every two years. I mean, every two years. Below 60 every year uh, after 60. Okay. It would be the appropriate thing to do. Good morning. You're on the show. What we like to do is make sure that it's irrigated, and we actually check the pH of the eye secretions. And the doctor's offices have that, as well as an emergency room. If the pH is neutral, we're all set. If it's not, then you have to go back and get more flushing. Was it liquid only, or was there any solid particles in that? Liquid only. So the irrigation is the key issue, and then we use bland ointment for a couple days afterwards to allow the body to reheal itself. <coughs> then it's leaking out, though, right? If yes. it's crusty, it's leaking out. Your body's responding to the irritation by making a higher protein content and making a dry, crusty material. You probably have to irrigate it again. I'd go see a doctor. I mean, it's really appropriate. If it bothers you that much, Mark, I'd go, I'd go in. But he's, as he said, irrigate it, flush it out, do some more on that, and see what happens a little bit later on today. Does he risk, is there a time frame involved, Joe? As long as it's not a lie or a basic solution. Basics are worse than the acids. Okay. Um, but the thing is, as long as the eye is red, you feel better about a red eye than a pale eye. That means it's been cooked. So okay. when people have the, uh, the, the porcelain appearance of the conjunctiva, that okay. means you actually cook the tissue and you really have to aggressively irrigate for well, he's, hours. Well, he's cooked it for a while, but it's never turned that color. Uh, <laughs> but irrigation is the beginning, checking the pH is the ideal situation, and from there we go into a bland ointment to allow your body to reheal itself, to patch itself over. What, can he buy the, uh, the bland ointment? They have it? a lacquer lube ointment available with, over the counter. So you say that again? Lacry Lube, L-A-C-R-I-L-U-B-E. Okay, Mike, there you go. Thanks. Tommy? Thanks, Jeff. Well, good morning, everyone. Well, carbon copy of yesterday, mixture of clouds and sunshine, 50% chance of thunderstorms, and a rain showers later this afternoon. Winds will be out of the east-northeast at about 10 to 15 miles per hour, and highs today, 88 to 92. Tonight, partly cloudy skies, low 72 to 76. And on uh, Thursday and Friday, both days, uh, expect a 30% chance of rain showers in the afternoon. And highs both days, 88 to 92. And right now from WCCF, what is official, it is 73 degrees.